Good afternoon, new friends, fellow students. Uh, the title of this presentation is What's in a Name? And when you think about a name, there's many different images or connotations that may come up. You may think of just a name. In some cases, people with uh, unique names uh, go through a, a different uh, journey through life. Uh, a person's name, first of all, is their, their title, it's their, their badge. It's one of the only things that you carry throughout life. And the objectives for this What's in a Name presentation, I want to share my personal example of how a name can be uh, start off as a hindrance and, and go on to be something that you're proud of. Um, I want to discuss how a person's name can build bridges towards a uh, greater understanding of one another and uh, provide you with three proven strategies uh, to make outstanding first impressions simply by being conscious of a person's name when you first meet them. Uh, let's go into uh, my name. Uh, I'm going to need a little call and response, a little crowd interaction here. Um, I, I've kind of uh, broke my name down into syllables, so I'm going to say this part of the name and I want you to repeat. This is a good exercise so when you actually come into contact with someone with a, a unique name, uh, you can break things down and in the three proven strategies I'm actually going to teach you how to, um, number one, remember a name and get a person, engage a person to the point where they actually uh, will share the stories with their name as we have here with the anatomy of a common name. So. Starting here, can everyone see first of all? Everyone can see? Okay. Gentlemen and Yes, I can see. Okay, we're gonna start here. It's Sha. Sha. D. 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 E. 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 Lay. 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 Zer. 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 Okay. I am Sha D. Quad three. He lays it. Say that five times fast. <laughs> you know, um, it is unofficially the most mispronounced name in the entire English language. I've done research. I went and uh, contacted historians, and it's true. Um, it's something that I'm proud of now. It's a title. It's um, uh, something that sets me apart from other people. Uh, it wasn't always that way, uh, and I, I'll share a story from my youth. Um, played a little basketball once upon a time, third grade. I'm in, I'm being announced. This is the All Star game, so you know my family's in the, the, the crowd. There's thousands of people in the audience, so they're they're going through the uh, the starting lineups. We have John Smith, we have uh, Tony Johnson, we have Michael Johnson, we have all these different players and all these different members of teams and, and here's my name you know I'm ready my mom and dad are there everyone's excited and the announcer says Shadav Elmer that's the echo effect and um, it took away the, the excitement about playing I can't believe this guy mispronounced my name in front of thousands of people and what I want you to understand is, for a person who has a unique name, who has a unique family name, first name, middle name, these are things that they carry with them whenever they're introduced to another person. When you, you speak to someone and you introduce themselves, yourself to them, the first thing they think is, well, is this person going to mispronounce your name? Now, as I mentioned in the beginning, this is something you carry through life, so it starts to build, it starts to grow, and it becomes a stigma where someone may not, someone may mis, not want to mispronounce your name, but uh, because they don't take the time to uh, go through the syllables or may not uh, understand the, uh, the language in which your name originated from, uh, they may mispronounce it, but to that person who's been going through this for years and years and years, uh, is something that um, becomes a, a chip on a shoulder. One thing I want you to realize in terms of how you can build better bridges to, towards understanding others is that a person's name is the sweetest sound in the entire English language. I will say that again.